All right, guys. I hope you're having a good day. Um, I was, but now I had the best option play of 2019 happened, and I'm pretty salty about it uh, that I missed it. It wasn't Roku for all of you guys on stream who are waiting for Roku. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't there, but oh, it kills me, guys. We're gonna. I'm gonna show you this. Wait for it. Stamps. This thing is down 46%. $93. That's a whole lot of Delta. And I will go over the options and we'll talk about this, some of the other earnings. But first, I'm going to talk about Tesla. So if you guys didn't see, there is the Model 3 lost its consumer report recommendation. And well, I need to talk about this too. Let me give my disclaimer. I did a, uh, I'm going to cut that from the stream. It's what I like to call the ghetto spread. But I have a position on Tesla. I have a short term March put. I believe I got the 245 here for like 140. We did that live on stream today. You guys could check out the live streaming channel. Um, yeah, just the other videos explain it. Um, but man, <laughs> I did that. I sold a put. Uh, I'll explain some of that. So I am biased, you know, but I, I'm going to give both sides of the equation here with Tesla. I want to talk about it because I think it's important for news interpretation. And even then, it's related to even stamps. That's another earnings play. Um, but even looking at this and what happened, the Tesla 3 lost this consumer report. And now I made a video in the past talking about interpreting news in the sense that when something happens for the first time, it's going to have a bigger effect on a company. Um, you know, simple as that. And today, surprisingly... Uh, in the grand scope of things, this wasn't that big on Tesla. You know, it's three and a half percent, sure, and, but especially coming near like a low at three hundred. You know, um, it, Tesla's seen worse days. You know what I'm saying? Especially so, even looking and in, in putting this into perspective, you know, it, I guess the stock reacts a little worse when Elon starts tweeting and, and taunting the SEC. But you know, they just lost a consumer report, and it's funny now. Um, I, I remember when I was little. And this is this sent me down a rabbit hole. I remember someone told me that uh, GM and Chevy owned like the JD Power Associates Award. You guys see those for autos. And I was told it was owned by, uh, you know, Chevy and GM and all that. So, you know, the Consumer Union, which is the Consumer Reports, you know, this is it's supposed to be a nonprofit organization dedicated to unbiased product testing, consumer oriented research, you know. So instantly I was like, doesn't one of the big guys own this? And then it's like the Consumer Union CEOs, this lady, Marta, whatever. And before this job, uh, she was the what? President of communications at the Ford Foundation since 2005, the fifth largest wealthable charitable, charitable trust started by Henry Ford. You know, great people, actually. So there's your tinfoil for the day. But, you know, putting it into perspective and why I'm, you know, how big does this mean? You know, Tesla is still a great car. And again, I bought puts and sold a put. So where do I stand? To, you know, I'm here for both sides. You know, I'm very objective in that sense. But in the grand scope of things, it did have an effect. This could develop. And the big issue, I think we talked about this on stream, that Tesla, I love the vehicle. I have a Model X. It's a great car. Um, but as a company and its viability, that doesn't necessarily reflect. I still believe in it. I'm rooting for them. But at the same time, the big worry here, I don't think it is, again, this consumer report thing. This could be, uh, you know, a hit piece or it could be many things related to, you know, Tesla and their corporate governance and people not liking Elon and whatever it may be. But the big issue, I think, right now, currently with Tesla, if you ask me, the exodus of all the people leaving. I believe someone even quit uh, and he was hired on after two weeks. He left. So, that is what's going on with Tesla. That's important, and that's what scares me. So here's the question. Is this going to have a big deal? We don't know, but the thing that's not, you know, it's a big deal now, but again, on top of all this other stuff and, you know, the demands, you know, they're slashing even the production and a lot of other things, you know, the, there's mounting pressures on Tesla, especially after they even reported profitability that one quarter before it's it's a weird state, um, and honestly, there's a lot going on with Tesla. Um, so this just doesn't help. But as you see, the market reacted kind of accordingly. You know, and the markets have been kind of slow for the most part. But then you know, let's go to stamps because this shows a whole nother side of the equation. But that's my take on it. I'll, I'll make a video, and well, you guys will see how that play is going to play out on Tesla. But I'd watch for that. If you guys have any comments on that, put them below. I, I want to hear your guys' take on Tesla. I'm sure everybody looks. Oh my gosh, this thing is just still dying, dude. <laughs> I can't believe this. So this is the best option trade of 2019 so far. Um, you know what? We're about a month and 
21 days, one month, three weeks into the year. And this is this, I think this sets the record. One, look at now, you know, why it was a crazy option play. It wasn't expected. Um, and you could tell it's moved 47% too. That's the next thing. That's a huge delta move, you know, this underlying asset move. So trading options, this is where you the degenerates, the gamblers, you know, this could have been a crazy play. And honestly, I'm really, really angry uh, because I, everybody, anybody who knows me, you could comment below. I love stamps. Anybody knows I'm, I'm a weirdo. I would call this one out. And usually the premiums are expensive, but you know, your marches would have costed a lot, but you know, this guy got one here for 112, 45, this 15 went through here today. And, you know, I want to go through this option chain just so you guys can see, because, you know, I know people are going to post about this tomorrow. And after the fact, this is a lesson for how you guys could understand, well, what were these options worth? You know, you don't need an option profit calculator, you know, and this is how I like to, it's just based on intrinsic value, knowing how options work. So you guys get a cool little mini lesson and how these people, you know, I found some plays you would have, I think it was like 50 bucks to like three or four grand or something crazy like that here. This guy bought these for 45 cents today on this option. And again, here's the premise of the people who bought puts they paid somebody a premium to buy the contract 45 dollars in this case and somebody agreed to sell them 100 shares of stamps for 125 a share now here it is stamps is at like 100 bucks let's say it's at 104 but geez this is still dropping dude this is insane but again it's down 50 percent that company lost that's that's a lot of value and if let's say it goes down to 100 buy open tomorrow right the stock opens at 100 dollars that person agreed to sell them the stock for or, or buy the stock from them for 125 so instantly they paid 45 bucks but tomorrow you know the difference between a hundred dollars and 125 what that person's gonna buy it for you don't even need to own the shares they could go you could buy it on open market but that contract will be worth at least 2500 bucks so literally 45 dollars to 2500 that's about what 500 percent almost a thousand percent is it is that no i think that's more i think it is no it's gonna be a crazy i'm don't get you know just get me on the delta move that's what i'm understanding here but it's gonna be crazy but now if you go to the weeklies this is where some of you are gonna you know eat your heart out you degenerate gamblers it's insane uh ab absolutely insane one went through here for five dollars at 135 let's see if we could find the cheapest one that went through today with the highest delta um i think right here 157 uh 50 for 40 cents so those are going to be worth uh if it's at 100 oh my yeah it's at 100 right now there you go this is after hours this thing is getting clobbered so these right here will be worth you know just subtract 5750 minus the, what it's trading at 100 that's 57 you know times it by now then times that by 100 shares that's their profit but it's going to be 5750 dollars per contract so you bought those for 40 dollars you will sell them for 5700 dollars tomorrow this is the beauty of options this guy got these for 10 cents so he might have been the winner because these are 10 dollars into 5200 bucks even more they just made another 700 bucks uh, <laughs> it's just getting clobbered right now so you know i think that that could have been the winner that has to be the winner when did that fucker buy those he got those right in the morning. Look at that, man. And that's crazy. Now, this is also the risk. We talked about this on stream, selling premium. This is why you don't sell premium on weeklies, even in general. Even if I sold premium on a June, I would have gotten clobbered because, well, this is the risk, my friends. But again, if you bought back, actually, I don't know, maybe these, you're going to, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. It's going to be nutty. I'm literally, I'm, I'm baffled by it. This is a crazy move. This is, you know, this doesn't happen every day. Is this a sign of more volatility to come? Is this a sign of stuff related to Amazon with stamps.com, FedEx, shipping, transports? There's a lot here to talk about, but we're going to watch this tomorrow. How this plays out will be interesting. I don't know if it's going to be one that's going to pick up, but we've seen after this is this proved the theory wrong. You know, we were saying wait till after earnings to play, but this was one of those. And, you know, a 10, 10 bucks went a solid, very solid long way. Uh, I'm this was a company I knew. I'm, I'm disappointed in myself. I got caught up with all the other work I had to do. But hey, it happens. Uh, good learning, learning lesson regardless. So hopefully you guys see this. Um, and yeah, it, it, tell me, is there a better play so far? This is my, I think this is my nominee for best play of 2019, best option trade of 2019. That, that one, what was it? We should make sure we keep note of that. Somebody, what was it? 10 cents, the 152, I think. 10 cents to, uh, and that's the last trade. Yeah, 10 cents to 5,200 bucks. We'll see. 
Uh, I think that's that's the trade of the year right there for so far. But two months in, it could easily be dethroned. Hopefully, we find the dethroner and we're able to make a video about it um, with us having the play. So who played it? I'm sure actually not. I'm not even going to ask that. You know, this is everyone. Someone's going to hit the flex zone. If you got to do it, you got to post the picture with your push-ups and show us in the account. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Uh, give me some feedback on this. What do you guys think about Tesla stamps and even Roku? How many of you guys played that? I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Make sure you get to the live streaming channel. Hopefully you guys know where that is. Um, man, I'm dumb. I was going to show you guys. I forgot literally in any of the videos, even this video, just click in the description. It says live streaming channel, but you could also come here on the main channel. Um, yeah, I love you guys. See you tomorrow.